Lamborghini Countach is one of the most iconic cars of all time. It's the car that basically created the Lamborghini identity, but at the same time it's one of the most extreme cars, both in design and driving experience. But the tuners of the 80s didn't think so, and so they decided to make the Mad Bull from Santa Agata even crazier. So hello guys and welcome back to another video and here are the tuned counters of the 80s. The king of the 80s tuning scene was without a doubt Koenig. The tuner from Munich is responsible for creating and popularizing the most tuning trends of the 80s like the twin turbocharged Euro Exotics, extreme body kits and even for creating the iconic side strikes that Testarossa would use later. Now they put their hands in all sorts of high-end supercars back then, and the Countach was no exception. But it was a bit different compared to the rest of the iconic creations. With the number one difference being the body kit. The car looked basically stock, and on a first glance you couldn't tell if under the skin was something quite special. But of course, body wasn't left completely untouched. The most notable parts were the new side skirts, which now connected the wheel arches, and also the rear wing had received some small changes. Now I'm not sure how many Countach Koenig actually modified. But the most iconic one is without a doubt the red apple candy one. The car was built for a special order for a German customer. Koenig used the uh, LP500S as a base and packed the 5.2 liter V12 engine with one turbo, something that increased the power from 375 to 500 horsepower, which might not sound as a lot for Koenig standards. But after this, Countach Koenig also built a twin turbo version, but not much is known about this car. The only thing that is known is that the car was terrifying to drive, and that Koenig didn't manage to sell the car initially. The interior received the typical Koenig treatment, like new Recaro seats, new leather, and the usual TV screens and audio systems. But Koenig wasn't the only one that built a turbocharged Countach. Lamborghini themselves also built some, sort of. The car was commissioned by Max Bobnar, which was the official Lamborghini dealer in Switzerland, and thanks to these connections, he worked quite close with Lamborghini. But despite crazy power that the Countach had, Max wasn't very happy with it, so he decided to pump it up a bit. He contacted the Austrian engineer and mechanic Franz Albert, who installed a pair of turbochargers. As a result, the power jumped from 375 to 520 horsepower, which wasn't as crazy as the 1000 horsepower Testarossas, but considering the age of the Countach and most importantly of the V12 engine, this was very impressive. The Bobnar Countach had an acceleration time of 4.9 seconds, while according to Max, he once hit a top speed of 290 km per hour. The car could go even more, but this would have been just too dangerous. Two twin turbocharged Countachs were built by Bobnar, one in black and the other in a similar apple candy red like the Koenig. The reason why I said in sort of way the cars were built by Lamborghini is because at some point they were considering to make this a real project. Valentino Balboni even test drove the car, but the car was just too extreme even for Lambo standards. The legendary designer Franco Sbarro also customized some Countachs. This looks like is the most popular conversion out there, with 8 Countachs being built. Most of the changes were aesthetic with new side skirts and some new air vents for cooling down the brakes. But the engine wasn't left completely untouched. Sbarro used the 500 Controvalvole as a base, which uh, stock had 455 horsepower, but on the Sbarro version the power went up to 515 horsepower. This was enough power to hit a top speed of 330 km per hour. One of these Countach was even crazier, since it had 
550 horsepower. One of the most interesting things is that Sbarro named this version as SV5200 Quattrovalole, taking the inspiration from the Mura SV. Alburtoni was, was the owner of Milano Import, which was the first Lamborghini dealer in US. But despite selling and servicing Lambo, he also tuned them, and his take on the Countach was just crazy. Now apparently the engine remained untouched, but the body completely, was completely redone, becoming slicker. And the reason for this was that Al wanted to build a rec record breaker. And so the downforce had to be as low as possible. And it's kind of weird to see the car with this body, since it looks like a replica gone wrong. But the body actually worked since the car managed to hit a top speed of 325 km per hour at the Bonneville South Flats, a record which remained unbroken for 10 years. Testarossa and Countach are two iconic exotics which were only offered as coupes and never as convertibles. And this is quite sad because both cars looked gorgeous without the roof, especially as Targas. But with old money that was around in the 80s, especially in US, the demand was crazy for topless Countach. And the guy that responded to this demand was Albert Mardikian. Mardikian was an American engineer who also built all sorts of crazy cars in the 80s, which most of the time were, ba were based on high-end Euro exotics. Most notably here was the Ferrari 400 Limo. His take on the Countach was to turn it into a Targatop, and the car looked amazing. Of course the body received some changes, some just for style and, and the rest for crash safety. But even stranger than the body is the engine. Martikian decided to increase the displacement to 4.4 liters. Lamborghini also built some 4.4 liter prototypes, two to be precise, but they didn't went through the test phase, and Lamborghini even destroyed one of them. The numbers claimed by Martikian were just crazy. The Countach SS, how the car was named, had 510 horsepower and a top speed of 330 km per hour. It's known that three copies were built, and one was bought by Rod Stewart, while another one was bought by Alpa, which used the car for different promotions. The Countach SS costed $250,000, which definitely is a lot of money, but most of the tuned exotics of the time had the same price. But the most extreme Countach, at least when it comes to this styling, is without a doubt the Zestro RSO. Zestro made some of the most extreme body kiss of the 80s, but for whatever reasons they are not as famous as Koenig or Gembala. They started by building kits for BMWs and Opels, but three were going to be their most known kits. The 308 GTB, the Pantera and the Countach. The last ones were truly crazy, especially the Pantera, which is unrecognizable. Differently from the previous Countach, Zastro didn't work much with the engine. They added a new exhaust system, which only added 25 horses to the 4.8 liter engine of the LP500S. It's believed that the Zastro Countach was destroyed on the accident and was burnt completely, which is really sad because this car looks so cool. So guys, thank you for watching and see you next time.